Hello and welcome to this video in which I'm going to be showing you how Anima can generate React code from static designs. My name is Anya Kubo and I'm a professional software developer and YouTuber who has spent a lot of time going back and forth with UI and UX guys when it comes to implementing change in web design. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the benefits of using Anima as a developer in the workplace. So I hope you're excited. For this video, I'm going to be using a template of my trainers app and the desktop version of the profile page. If you haven't worked with Anima before and would like to know how to get started with Anima, I have a great video for you called Getting Started. It will take you through the process of getting your designs from Figma, Sketch and Adobe XD into the Anima platform with all the necessary code generated. It's a super quick process and the whole thing takes just a few minutes. Now, once we have our designs in Anima, we can select which screen we want to see. So here we have the mobile view for the profile menu, a tablet view for the profile menu and a desktop view. Let's go ahead and click that one. Okay, so now that we have our design up, the best part about this is that we can immediately view the design as it would look on desktop, mobile, and tablet, thanks to these view togglers right here. And we can also put in a custom pixel width if we wish. But how is Anima doing all of this? Well, under the hood is the generated code. Let's go ahead and click the button right here. You will notice that two windows have been opened, one for JSX and one for CSS. We can also choose to put this in HTML and CSS if we wish. If I go ahead and click on the daily target element right here, so the div with the title of daily target, another div with the step count, another div with the status bar, and this image element right here, well, you guessed it. Anima has converted all of that into JSX for us. If I click on the parent element right here, you will see that all the code has been generated with its child elements. So there we go. Here is the image that we talked about and the other divs. Next, to the right, you will also see the CSS necessary for this specific element. This is great as now we as developers can focus on writing the logic for hooking up the step count and the status bar to our UI. But what if you don't code in React? Well, Anima has you covered as you can also convert code into pure HTML. By selecting this drop down right here, we can essentially toggle between pure HTML and React, as well as get the correct CSS specifically for the component or elements. We can even go as far as select the syntax of function components or class components. And the best part about it is that it's fully self-contained. Let's put it to the test. So with this button here, we can actually export this to a popular IDE called CodePen. Now I'm essentially going to go ahead and open this up using the inbuilt button right here. And voila, there is our component. The generated code by Anima works perfectly as a self-contained component. It's reusable, it's downloadable, it's beautiful. And hey, let's face it, that makes our jobs as developers a whole lot easier. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.